I am so blessed to have Barb with Joggles in my studio today. Hi, Barb. Hey, Heather. It, um, yeah, I mean, this is fun for me. I, I often get to go and hang out with Elizabeth, so it's fun for me to come and, and do something with you, and it didn't even have to get on a plane to get here, so it's right? amazing. We both happen to live in the same state, which is amazing, so. This is a good thing. So today, we're working with two of the designs from Elizabeth's Patterns for Layering stencils. Heather is monkeying with the one named Mesh Mask, and the one I'm using is named Here Comes the Rain. And we're coming at this from about the same place, but we're going to approach it a little bit differently. So rather than put paint on the plate and then lift it up through the openings of the stencil, we're going to put the stencil on a naked plate, and then we're going to start putting paint through the openings. Heather's going to kind of blend a couple of metallic colors. I'm going to be a little bit more deliberate about how I place them with the idea that when I pick up, I'm going to pick up with matte medium and Heather's going to pick up with colors so that she's going to get her background is going to look a little, well, it's going to look a lot different than mine because mine is going to be transparent. Heather's working on the Yasutomo 9x12 rice paper and I am working on some of our panel cards. I have some place here. This is the rice paper I'm gonna use. Yep, that's, yep. this is Elizabeth's favorite rice paper. I think at this point, it's probably everybody's favorite rice paper. Yep. So some point place here, I have two of the craft panel cards. That's what I'm gonna do. I like the vertical nature of this. I'm gonna print it long ways. And then these will be great. I can stick them in envelopes and it's an easy card you write on the back. So well, I'm gonna start, I think we're both gonna work at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start applying my colors. Heather's gonna do her thing and then we're gonna break quickly because we'll have to let the paint dry before we can pick it up. Now what kind of paint are you using today? I have three colors of Finnebear Art Alchemy, two are sparks. I have, this one is named oh, Night Shadow and this is Fairy Wings and then the pink is something else. And these it's, are kind of metallics, yes, right? Yes, that's the metal. This is paint. Wild Fuchsia. Yep. All right, so I'm going to just, you can see I've already done this a little bit. I'm going to randomly apply my colors, but with a pattern in mind. And Heather's just simply going to go willy-nilly. Willy so let's do that. I'm going to use some of this uh, golden iridescent copper fine. And then um, some of the bronze. You can see these are pretty uh, opaque colors. So I kind of want to give that heavy metallic sparkle. And that's why I chose these two. One's a warm and one's a cool, so I thought that would be nice. And then I just used my little my little brayer to kind of uh, push the color through the pattern like this. All right, so this paint is pretty thick. There, do you need a? Yeah, no, I got one. You got one? Yeah, I got a, a palette, palette knife. A little palette knife. This time. process could also happen with a little makeup sponge if you didn't have a roller, but a brayer, but the brayer does work really good and really fast. Yes, and you would actually need a brayer to spread the pickup agent, whether it's gel medium like I'm gonna use or it's paint like you're gonna use. So you are you can't escape the need for a brayer for this process. Almost with a gel plate period, you need a brayer. You, this is true. So the one thing that is going on here is you can see that I'm deliberately not brayering this enough to blend the colors, but I want this kind of random mixing that happens where the colors don't all become the same, but they certainly live side by side at a minimum or on top of one another. Oops, sorry, Heather. Sorry. Which is exactly what I'm looking for because this is just a fun, different way of applying the paint than certainly what I would normally do. And I was inspired, I saw one of Heather's reels and this was the impetus for what I wanted to do here when we played around. All right, so that's not quite enough of the fairy wings. Again, I've got all that kind of fun overlapping that's going on without a lot of blending, which is what I'm aiming for. I love that, um, what is that, turquoise color? Uh, it is called Night Shadow. It's yeah. very deep. It's very, very strong. Beautiful. All it right. reminds me of a, a shade that I used to see they don't make any more, of course. Yeah. You know how it is. You get used to something and then they never make it again. <laughs> so what you don't see necessarily off to the side, this is my roll-off sheet. And you can Gorgeous. see sparkly. that it's all sparkly. And this is why I stopped using printer paper because this is the same Yasutomo paper. I'm rolling off on the smooth side. And eventually when this gets co covered, I have this great paper that I can tear or do whatever I want to do with. 
So I'm at the point, I've got a little bit of a hole right there. I'm at the point where I'm about ready to let this sit because the paint's gonna dry. And so Heather and I are gonna break off for a second or probably more for like four or five minutes so that that drying can happen. And then when we come back, we'll be ready to start doing pickups. So this is just the paint coming off of the stencil. That's what you see is going on here. And I'm just gonna roll it off because it's good stuff. And I wanna make a point here to say as well, so if you don't have much patience, like, <laughs> do you have patience, Barb? None. <laughs> so if you don't have a lot of patience, I use this little um, mini blow dryer and it's it's great if you have a cool setting. And I'll just like lightly blow this dry. You're not trying to bake it on. You don't wanna bake it onto your plate, but I'll keep it like two or three inches from my plate and just kind of give it a little, a little go over and it, it, it'll dry the paint and that can help you know, make it fast. So I'm so. going to take this off so that it can actually, that drying oh, so can pretty. begin. I know. Isn't that cool? I love that's that. That's what I like about this process. You yeah. get, you get paint that layers on top of each other in a way that you never could. And this is damp enough. I don't know if, if we'll be able to do it, but if I misted this a little bit, I can put this face down on a piece of the rice paper and press and it should come off. Do you have a spare piece? Mm -hmm. And not that you'll be able to see this because it's out of camera, but I'm going to press this and then brayer it and see what happens. And if there's anything worth showing, we will show you in a few minutes once this paint is dry. I also uh, dried off my, or I mean, I washed off my stencil on a piece of a uh, roll, uh, roll off sheet on a piece of deli paper and look at how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways to eat. Don't waste anything. There's always something you can do with the leftovers. Absolutely. So, and now also I wanna make a point when you're looking for this to be dried, it's just dried to the point where it's not coming off on your finger. It doesn't have to be like, you know, bone dry, but it does need to be, you know, you, you don't want it to come off on your finger because if it does, it'll smear when you add that other color on there. So. And that's aggravating. It's aggravating <laughs> after all the patterns and, and all the waiting and, and all the waiting. Yeah, don't jump the gun. Yeah. So this looks like butterfly wings almost to me. This, oh, you're right. These colors together. Yeah. Look you know pretty. what? You're right. All right. Let's see what happens here. All right. This is worth. Here, I'll hold you want to hold that? Yeah. So I'm not getting all of it, but you can see where the oh. paint is peeling off the stencil. Now, unfortunately, you, you know what? Let me grab a brayer and I'll let hold me, it. I'm going to put it down. I want to oh, brayer okay. the heck out of it and yep. see if I can actually get that to transfer. I probably didn't press hard enough with my hands. That's pretty. So the, will that work with any paint or the just the finabar? No, the, I think the, it should work with any paint. I've got enough of a layer on here. It's so thick that it just starts to peel off the stencil. So I'm not getting all of it, but I'm certainly getting some of it. But you can see that this stuff wants to peel off. So if I had done a better job, I could have taken advantage of all of this. Would it help if it if you did it right away while yes. it was still kind of damp? Or yeah, you, I like waited you said, too you long. missed it or something? Yeah, I missed my opportunity. <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but this is really pretty. It's too bad that I didn't grab it all. But you can see, had I jumped on that yeah. a little bit sooner, it would have been pretty it's awesome as shiny. a print. Yeah, and it's shiny and sparkly. So some of yours, so I can tell your paint is a little damper. So we're gonna um, cut and dry, uh, cut away and come back when this is totally dry for you. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Okay guys, we're back and what's that? Gel medium, because I want a transparent background, which is the way that you get that is by using gel medium. I just wanna see these colors on the craft number 10 panel card. Okay. So now I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna brayer this. Oh, that's too much gel medium. And then I'm gonna let you explain what you're doing because your background is completely different than my, mine. Yeah, so I thought this kind of reminded me of a cheetah pattern. So I thought, what if we do kind of a painterly cheetah pattern? So I, this is bone black that I'm putting all around the edges. And then I'm gonna do burnt umber light just a few drops because I want enough paint on there but I don't want so much that um, that you know black can overtake so I want to I want to make sure I'm still getting that light center this in the center is uh, Indian yellow hue and then I, my favorite all-time favorite paint color in the history of Heather Mater art quinacridone nickel azo gold 
there. It is I, a yummy color. It is beyond, beyond beautiful. So, and then I use a tiny little roller, a little brayer for this one, and I'm, I'm going to start, I start with the lightest color first because the black on my roller would start to, um, you know, obscure all the other colors. So that's what I'm going to do now. And while Heather is scooching her colors around to get that cheetah-like effect, I am letting this sit. The, the, when you work with a, a pickup print, first of all, I have the luxury of time because the craft color or the craft paper is very absorbent and it is very sturdy. So I can leave this on there until I'm really confident that that gel medium has dried. And it needs to because that's how it's going to take the, plate, the, the paint in the here comes the rain pattern and pick it up on those on these cards so i'm going to give this a couple of minutes to do its thing while heather is doing her thing i'm just getting like you know that little sort of modeled effect and i want this i put the light color in the center so there's going to be light coming from the center of the piece and then I use the rice paper, and the rice paper, the thin, uh, the uh, non-textured side, the, the smooth, smooth side, side down yeah. is my favorite. And you're going to have to let that sit for a couple of minutes. So while she rubs that, I think I'm almost ready to start picking this up. We will see. What I don't want to do, this is the queen of impatience that's talking now, what I don't want to do is jump the gun, because if I jump the gun, it's not going to pick it up. So I'm going to give this another little bit. And who knows, maybe Heather will pick up before I do at this rate. I might have applied, might have applied the gel medium a little bit heavier than I should have. If you apply the paint thicker, like even mine, you can see it's starting to bleed through this rice paper. It's really thirsty. So, but even if you do put a lot on there, yeah, it takes a little bit longer because basically the paper has to absorb all that extra before it can get down to that pattern underneath it, right? This is true. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to peek, and it's not all going to come up. So I might have pulled this up too soon, and maybe this corner will not be exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm just going to let it sit there and do its thing. I'm using, like, pressure with the, uh, what is that called? The heel of the your heel. Hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is old age for me. <laughs> Sister, I am older than you. You can't use that as an excuse. Okay, fine. The, I don't know what. I wish I was trying to use that as an excuse. I know, me. right? <laughs> but it's a, it's a catch-all. I'm old. I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, you have to. But um, the heel of my hand, I'm using quite a bit of pressure. And then that should help pick up that under layer. I'm going to see. Ooh. This is so exciting. Look at that. Look at that. And see, there's the difference. You can see those colors peeking through where the metallic wow. colors were not. How awesome is that? I'm going to show this. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yes. And that's the difference because mine, the background of mine is going to be the color of the craft that was exactly what I was looking for, and yours is so totally different and so yeah. beautiful. Lots of different shades in there, and then that metallic just through that uh, stencil is beautiful. That's a, I love that stencil. Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna, so that we don't wait here forever, I'm gonna pull these. If they don't come off exactly, you'll understand that, again, I used too much gel medium, and I didn't give it enough time, but I think we're gonna get a good chunk of this. Oh. Some of it's coming. Sometimes if it doesn't come from one direction too, I'll try from another direction. Right, well, let's give that a whirl. Let's see how that went. Ooh, so most of it came up. That's so pretty. I know. Look at those colors. And again, with the Art Alchemy paint, whether it's the Sparks or it's the Metalique or even the Opal Magic, it's pretty amazing. Let's look at Ooh, and that. you can see that I've got color on top of color, which was my whole point. And unlike Heather's, where her background is really Matte. the dramatic yeah. part, mine my design is the dramatic dramatic part let's try this this way and again this is what's nice about the craft because it's so sturdy so again we got most of that and i like this i think that this is uh, the colors are just so well, these are my colors they're really amazing they're shiny they look really pretty and now you've got a card you can layer something on top of it this could be your background you can do whatever you want i mean there's options galore yeah Two beautiful stencils. Now, what was the name of our stencils again, just so people know? Here comes the rain. 
and Mesh Mask. Awesome. These are both from Elizabeth St. Hilaire's Patterns for Layering collection. And you can get the rice paper at joggles.com. You can get the stencils at joggles.com. The beautiful uh, paints that were used here. This is Art Alchemy paints. I love these paints. They're so shimmering and, and lovely. Uh, most of the supplies, mixed media supplies, you can yeah. get at The brayers, the plates, we got it. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see what our next, next project is going to be. And um, and we'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. As a side note, I just wanted to show you, this is what happens when you're cleaning up. I noticed, you know, when I said don't ever throw anything away, look at all the beautiful things that came. Um, these are the roll-off sheets. Look at that beautiful pattern. That's literally from my brayer rolling over the stencil and it still held on to some of that beautiful pattern on there. Of course, we made the beautiful um, collage papers, uh, rice sheets, and this these were the practice, some of these were the practice ones. Um, we had this one, which can totally be, if you don't like all the white in there, you could flip this over and soak some paint through the back. Um, one of the techniques that I do show on my channel. And look how pretty, even, my mind as an artist, and I'm sure you understand this, I can look at these and see how all of this could be part of a collection. And what kind of beautiful painting could I make using all of these patterns from one stencil and just a couple colors. So don't throw anything away. It's all special and it all can be used to make something beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.